episode 1,231, Gosh, Mom, You Have Failed Me. It's time to train for life and love your journey. In this episode of Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, you'll learn new ways to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew your mind, body, and spirit. Please welcome your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy every day. It is Friday, and guess what? It's Confessions of an Upset Mama. And boy, does this have you talking already. I bet you it does. Gosh, Mom, you have failed me. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, have you ever heard your child scream, gosh, mom, you have failed me? Maybe it wasn't a scream. It was just a little shout out. Mm-hmm. And then what? You retreat carrying the greatest burden of all, a child's reason for failure. You might be called names like helicopter parent or drone parent if you are too involved. And if you aren't involved enough, whispers are echoed in the hallway that you don't care to hear. No matter if you have a newborn, a preschooler, an elementary star, a middle schooler, a high schooler, or more challenging yet, a college student, nothing you do is right. Parenting is the toughest job in the world. Moms, dads, it's a thankless job that recognition seems to only come with failure. And when you think you've done something right, your child shouts, gosh, mom, you have failed me. It's a fight for the not so fit. There is no parenting book that has all the answers for raising the perfect child, which of course We all know that there's no perfect child, even though in our dreams, and we really wish there was. I know I do. It's more like we want the best for our child, better opportunities than what we had. We want to make it easier for them. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. I want my child to succeed. You want yours to succeed too. So what is it with this guilt that we are the bad guys? Well, we're going to answer that question in just a moment but a word from our sponsor, Health, Hope, and Inspiration with Reverend Percy McRae. As of today, over 100,000 people have discovered Health, Hope, and Inspiration, a weekly podcast specifically designed for people of faith who are living with cancer. If you or someone you love has received a cancer diagnosis, Health, Hope, and Inspiration will potentially help you find strength and answer your questions about cancer prevention, treatment, and overall healthy living. Every program is filled with information and interviews that will encourage your heart, educate your mind, strengthen your body, build your faith, and give you hope. You will meet people who put their trust in God as they fought their battle with cancer. You will also find links to helpful resources that will guide you on this difficult journey. Visit healthhopeandinspiration.com and subscribe to the free Health, Hope, and Inspiration podcast today. And thank you. For being a part of our family. So this guilt, what is it? Is it a badge of honor that we carry as a mom? Is it a badge of honor that we feel like we need to wear on not just one sleeve, but two or three and maybe four or five on the front and back? What is it with it? Is that really being placed on you by your child? Do they really come out and tell you, gosh, mom, you have failed me? Or Is it a perception on our part? Are we interpreting their looks, their behaviors, and attitudes to equal, gosh, mom, you failed me? Let's be real here. Maybe in a heated moment, your child may something that reflects, gosh, mom, you failed me. I'm sure. They have said, you've disappointed me. I can't believe you did that. All of what equates to us as, gosh, mom, you have failed me. But in reality, it's just words to disguise what your child truly knows. They have failed themselves. No one wants to admit failure. No one wants to be wrong. But the only way to be right is to know failure. Think about it for your personal life. Do you really want to fail at your job? Do you really want to cook a bad meal? Do you really want to, you know, not get that project done at work? Do you really want to 
Make all your whites turn pink because you threw in that red sock? No, none of us want failure. But the only way to be right is to know failure. You are right because you fail. You know best because you fail. Failure opens up doors to success. So it's our job as a parent to instill within our child that failure is a part of the process, not a stopping point. Children are going to see failure as a stopping point because something did not go the way they wanted it. But you know that not to be true. If you would have stopped every single time at failure, would you be where you are today? I know you can quickly answer that question as the big capital N, capital O, exclamation point. We know that failure breeds success, but we don't teach that because we're too kind of caught up in, I want to be right instead of it's okay to be wrong. So that's when you have to scream back when your child says, gosh, mom, you failed me. Not really. Scream back, move beyond failure. That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Move beyond failure. You can't stop where you are when you fail. Now, you may change things up a little bit. Why? Because of failing. But that's not stopping. That's changing direction. We all change direction in life, but we have to be willing to what? Move beyond failure. Let's break it down. Three hard points here. Number one, stop cheating. Stop cheating yourself of opportunities. Get out of the way of yourself. Have you ever told your child to get out of the way of themselves? That they actually could be the ones holding themselves back? What about yourself? Are you really wanting that job or are you kind of just like, I really don't want to put in the extra effort because I can make do with where I am. I just don't want to have to go learn all these extra things in order to move up the ladder, which really that's what I want to do, but I don't want to do it. Stop cheating yourself of opportunities. Get out of the way. Number two, failure is a stepping stone to your greatness. You won't know what works until you fail. You didn't just get up and start walking as a child. Because if it was that easy, you would just get up and start running. We would all be amazing sprinters. No, it was what? One step at a time to lead you to miles of greatness. So stop cheating yourself. Know that failure is a stepping stone. And number three, nothing is impossible. No matter how many times you fall. Nothing is impossible. If you want something bad enough, you'll figure a way to get it. Now you can sit here and ho-hum around this whole thing of, oh, but you know, they just look at me and I just feel so bad and then I'm the guilty mom and it's all my fault or I should have done more as a dad. No. Stop for a moment. Look at the picture, the bigger picture. When children begin to understand that their actions are of themselves, then they begin to understand what it's like to fail. And failure is something that we have to teach our children. It is a part of life. You cannot win at absolutely everything. Now, if I get floods of emails, that's fine. But we all cannot be winners all at the same time. If you and I are going for the same job and there's only one position, you and I both can't have that job. There is going to be failure at some point in our lives. And you know what? That only makes you stronger. It only makes you better. So when your children are getting frustrated at you, gosh, mom, you have failed me. No, you haven't. You're probably just doing your job. They're beginning to realize something within themselves. I watch my babies grow up. And yeah, they'll always be my babies. But, you know, my oldest is 22. Oh, my goodness, I'm old. My youngest is 13. 
soon to turn 14. I'm really old. We're almost to the point of absolutely high school and above. I got one more year, so I'm still going to enjoy this one more year. But when I look at them growing up, I can't save them from absolutely every fail in their life. And if I did, I would be doing a disservice to them. They have got to know what it's like to fall and what it's like to get back up. That's ultimately what creates greatness within our children. We can't sit here and hand over everything to our babies. Yes, I want something better for them than what I had. But it's going to mean more the harder they work. It's not about handouts. It's truly about raising our children and placing them into greatness. You as a mom, as a dad, you need to put this into practice for yourself. Turn the tables. How are you showing your child to move beyond failure? I know I've hit some some crazy roadblocks in my life. And sometimes I model the perfect rebound from failure. And other times, oh my goodness gracious, I might as well just jump off a deeper cliff because I so bombed it. I don't get it right every time. But we, as parents, have to be strong within ourselves and say, you know what? I, too, can move beyond failure. Because if I can move beyond failure, I'm showing my child that they, too, can move beyond failure. Stop cheating yourself. See failure as a stepping stone. And no one understand and believe that nothing is impossible. The ball is in your court. What will you do with it? Maybe you want it to land on that wonderful link, take aim in the show notes. Maybe you want some help with this. Maybe you kind of feel like you're in this, you know, squirrel-like circle. You just keep running around, playing with the same nut. Failure after failure after failure. It looks great on one side, looks great on the other side, but no, not so much on the other two sides. You can't find a way out of it. Click on the link, take aim in the show notes. I have a free coaching call for you. It's my gift to you. It's something that I want to give everybody the opportunity to be coached because I believe in it that much. And this is my gift to you. Maybe you've never experienced coaching. Most people that I talk to, they're like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have done this so long ago. Today is your day. Be bold and be brave. Click on that link. The ball's in your court. Take it and run with it. It's time to move beyond failure. And what's cool about the whole thing is, you know, if you're actually having dialogue with your children and they're pointing out to you that you messed up, then guess what? A big pat on your back because they are paying attention to you. When you have your child paying attention to you, you're being a good mom. You're being a terrific dad. Don't give up. I know it's hard. And there are times that literally, yes, I want to go in my closet and bang my head against the wall. I'm being honest. It's a tough job. But I promise you, you will get through it with a few tears, maybe a few bumps and bruises. But it will be the most rewarding thing you ever do in your entire life. Go out today and remember, failure opens up doors to success. It's time to move beyond that failure. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.